Hi everyone, Alex here. Continue with our HVAC series. Today is Insight Energy Optimization. So based on the previously created energy analysis model, we're gonna upload that to Insight and then we're gonna explore a little bit about energy optimization. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Now in the previous video, I showed you that if you go to insight360.autodesk.com and then you log in with your Autodesk information, you're taken to this dashboard. Notice you have the eye for Autodesk Insight. If you click here, then you're inside of your all uncategorized and here's your file, right? If I click here, this should look pretty familiar to you. So let's go back. I notice that my file has the same name as my Revit model. 001 max 03 insight 001 max 03 insight right i notice that under the three dots you have a few options including rename and move right now this project is located inside of all uncategorized now if i go back to the main menu i can create a new insight here and i can select my project and click on done and then notice that now i have an untitled insight and this is going to be the one that I'm going to rename. Let's say BIM it up University. So my project has been moved from the all uncategorized folder, if you will, to my new folder called BIM it up University. So if I click here, now that's my first model and I could add other models to the same folder. Now instead of having something so generic, I could come back to the main folder and change this picture. I could come here and upload a picture. But before doing that, I'm going to create a picture because I don't have one. I'm going to go to this 3D view that I have and I'm going to take a snip of it. And I'm going to save that as my picture. I'm going to save it under my projects, 001. It's going to be images. And this is a 3D realistic. Now I can come back here and just edit. Choose a file. Navigate to that location and select my image. And now it's a little bit easier to find my project. And now let's go to our project and I want to show you that if you go into this gear that's the settings we can have default units as imperial or metric I'm going to keep it as metric for this tutorial and then how you want to present your results either as money or energy use intensity EUI I'm going to have energy use intensity let's assume we're talking to our energy consultant and then in addition to the default setting you have over 200 simulations that represent different options different design options and they're referred to as widgets, and that's what they're talking about here. So if you want to sort them in order of importance, which is which one of those have the highest impact, let's say the, the U value or the R value of some walls, as an example, you if you want to sort them by order of importance, then you click yes. I'm going to click yes because typically you would use the Pareto principle, you know, to take care of like the first three most important things and then the other 79, which don't have that much of an impact, then is not a priority so that you get the most bang out of your buck. So let's keep it like this. And then lastly here under currency and utility rates, uh, we're gonna keep it US dollars because we're in Miami. And if you click here, you get the utility rates from your weather station, but you can also overwrite them if you click on here and then you put whatever value you wanna have. Or if you don't wanna use uh, US dollars, but anything else, you can simply just pick it from here. And then notice that these changes are live. So if I change this to annual cost, notice how this changes automatically. See energy use intensity, annual cost. It's not a big deal either way. Whenever you click on your model, you can simply toggle it here. See, so EUI or dollars. EUI, dollars. The same way if you want to change your units, you can change here to Imperial. And then you can see how it reflects immediately here. 0 0.87 dollars per square feet per year. That's not bad. And then notice that if I click here, not only my cost per square feet changed to my units, but also now it's kilo BTUs. Let's go back. And then one last thing is if you click here in the profile picture, you can collaborate with other people. You can add, you can share it with other people. In this case, I added myself. I could remove myself if I wanted to, or I could add other members. So the email's going to look something like this to whoever's receiving it. And then once they have access to it, they can come here to comments. And then they can say, I don't know. This is too much money. Make it more cost-effective, for example. Get your magic wand and make it happen. And then you add a comment. So 
you can always come back to analyze and then just regenerate your model. You can actually delete your energy model and then just create a new one. Before I do that, let's go back to our insight and let's change the units back to metric. Let's keep it as annual cost. And now we have 33.8, right? So if we go back to our model and we go to energy settings, let's go to other options. Let's change the target percentage glazing to 30%. Most importantly, let's change this building operating schedule to be a 24-7 facility. And then in thermal properties, let's change the exterior walls to no insulation and click OK. Then OK, OK. Now just to clean it up, let's delete the energy model. Now I cannot generate an analytical model uh, because I don't have an energy model now. So I have to click on it and create it. Now that we have our energy model, we can generate our analytical model. We want to update the energy analytical model. We have to accept our disclaimer. And now I can go grab a sandwich. Now if you remember, my cost was 33.8. Now if I go back to my insight, I see that my cost mean is now 35.9. So it went up. Even though I reduced the percentage of glass, I got rid of the exterior wall insulation, which obviously doesn't make any sense. I'm just doing it as an example so that you see that this gets updated as you make changes in the model.